you can certainly like open, like come to me with questions. This is not formal. This is us. This is our big team training, which I love. Big BTT. Everyone knows I love a good acronym. So, um, I'm so excited to do this. You know, um, product being productive is such an important thing in our life, right? Not just for our business. It's just important in general. Okay. And let me tell you the, the actual definition. I love definitions because I feel like it puts in perspective exactly what, what, it, what that specific word means, right? It gives you a better perspective. So productive means achieving or producing a significant amount of abundance or result, okay? It means that you are producing results. That's what being productive is. That means you say you're gonna do something and you do it. That's being productive, okay? But what is the opposite of productive? Maybe not the opposite, but it's pretty close. Distractions. Distractions. Our whole life is a distraction if we allow it to be. Summer, winter, fall, spring, Tuesday, Saturday, every day can have some kind of distraction, right? It is how, what we choose to do with our time that's going to make us really successful or we're going to stay where we are. So this is going to be about summer, but this is also going to be about in general, just some really important things that I use, that I train my team to use, um, that I've learned from mentors and trainings and coaching and, and I, uh, podcasts and all these things. I kind of just put my favorite things in one little bucket tonight. Um, because I want you to understand that the summer, like Elaine just said, is an awesome opportunity to kind of step into your own. Because I will tell you that people are sleeping in the summer. They are. They're taking the summer off. Let me tell you what happens when you take the summer off. You pull your foot off that pedal, friends, it's going to get really hard to restart. That's just how that goes. When you, when you think off means just a couple months, not a big deal, kick starting again, trying to create that momentum becomes hard. I'm going to give you this analogy. Okay. Let's think of a flower or flowers planting. Okay. My mom loves to plant and she has the most gorgeous garden on the planet. And every single day when I talk to her, you know, at like five o'clock in the morning, she's outside in her garden pruning and pruning and pruning and watering and feeding and tending to her plants. Let's think about our business for a second. And let's put that analogy with the flowers. If my mom decided to feed the, the plants or put water in the plants once a week, maybe every few weeks she pruned, what would they look like in a few weeks, in a couple of months? They wouldn't look so good. In fact, they probably would die right? They would be withered. They wouldn't be healthy. And it would, it, they probably would start to die off. Now let's think about our business for a second and put that analogy with the flower. You have to understand that we need to prune and feed our business every single day if we want to keep this beautiful, this building, this beautiful empire that we are all trying to build. Because if you don't touch your business every day in some capacity, you're missing the boat. Your flowers are going to start to die. And then to get them back to life becomes very, very hard, right? It's the same thing with our, bigot, or with our business. Being consistent is a crucial piece. And touching our business, showing up every single day to do something that's going to move us forward is what's going to help keep our business healthy. It's not just sometimes, because sometimes is not getting you to where you want to be. It's consistency every single day. It's doing the hard stuff, okay? I call it the non-pretty work. It's doing the things that you're not posting on social media because they're not fancy, right? The fancy things when we're at events and we're doing this, Nobody sees what my desk looks like right now because I've been making calls all day long. Nobody sees that I have a McDonald's headset that I wear in my house and in my car because that's how I can get 
and that's how I'm most productive. I'm not posting that picture on Facebook, right? I'm not posting the, the work. I post the fun stuff. It's the work, however, that's going to build your business. Okay. So I'm going to throw a number out there. The number 1,440. Can anybody tell me what that number is? 1,440. 1,440. Okay, I'm done waiting. <laughs> that was quick. You had to be quick. Um, so that is the number of minutes in a day, 1,440. Now, you are looking, Elaine Mason is a 100 Club National Marketing Director, uh, Kurt Beavers, uh, Catherine Lee. I mean, Wendy Campbell. Do they have more minutes in their day? No, they don't. The highest level executives or entrepreneurs that are making millions of dollars do they have more minutes in their day? No. What does it come down to? What ends up being why they are more successful? Why other people are more successful? How are you managing your minutes? That literally becomes what you need to figure out. How are you managing your minutes? So Zig Ziglar says, the first step to getting what you want is to have the courage of getting rid of what you don't want. The first step in getting what you want is having the courage to getting rid of what you don't want. So tonight we're gonna focus in on what we need and what our want is, and the rest we're gonna push aside until maybe another time. And maybe those things that we push aside, we never even actually end up getting to, okay? So the very first thing to being really successful this summer is to set a goal for yourself. And I know that's like, oh my gosh, you're gonna tell me to set a goal for yourself? Yeah, I am. But I'm not gonna tell you to set some like ridiculous goal. I want you to think of a goal in the next two months, July and August, I mean the rest of June, July and August. What do you want in those two months? And I want you to take a couple of seconds right now and I want you to write it down and I'm gonna give you an example. Okay. I'm not telling you to say between now and the end of August, I want to be a hundred club. That's not going to happen. <laughs> right? So what is that going to look like? Maybe in the next eight weeks, you want to start 10 new customers and start two new team members. Go get it. Write that down. That's a goal. Maybe your goal is to commit to a certain amount of time every week and you want to stick to it. Maybe your goal is a financial goal. Maybe you're trying to hit a promotion. What is your goal that in the next eight weeks, not something that's so out of reach, something that's tangible that you actually can focus on? Take a second and in the next eight weeks, what is that specific focus that you want? That's step number one. So take a minute and do that. And if you want to put it in the chat, we would love to see it. If you don't, no worries. I already wrote mine down, so I don't have to write it again. Everybody feels good about that? Awesome. Perfect. Tangible goals, okay? Okay. The next part of understanding what your goals are is understanding what's going to get you there, okay? Here's what's not going to get you there. Being busy doing busy work. That's not going to get you there. It's not. Okay. So what is going to get you there is by understanding what your priorities are and only doing those things because summer is busy. So when you are focusing, so like the setting goals part, here's what I want you to do right now. And I've done this. I did this once before on, um, on one of our Sunday night Zooms but I think it's crucial. It's crucial that you guys understand what we're about to do and why I, if I'm not going to have you sit and do it now, but I, I am begging if you do nothing else from tonight, please sit down and make this list. Okay. I want you to make two lists. I take a piece of paper and I make a line down the center and I want you to make a list of everything that you currently do for your juice plus business every single day. Okay. 
the first list is going to have everything that you do for your juice plus business every single day the second list is only going to be the things that are going to make you money that are going to build your business that are going to move your business forward those two lists are crucial i need you to do that before you close your eyes tonight so because it's fresh and you're going to be excited about it um make those two lists because i will tell you that the amount of stuff that we do on a daily basis is the busy work so we don't have to do the hard stuff it's truth and you know it. So when you look at your list of things that are only going to move your business forward, that's what Zig Ziglar is talking about. The courage to do the things, to put, to get rid of things that you don't want to do that are not going to help you. Right? So think about it. And when you're going to look at those two lists, I'm going to give you mine as an example. I had 27 things on my first list. And on the list of things that were going to move my business forward, there were four things. Four. So now let's think about our summer. We're busy, right? Our time is different. Our schedules are all over the place. So when I lock in, if I've got an hour that day, am I going to spend it doing emails? No. I'm going to spend it doing those four things. For me, it's, it's 10 prospect calls a day. For me, it's setting up at least five face-to-face -face meetings every week. It's setting up events where I can get out into the public and meet people and network. And it's doing really good customer and team care. That's it. My, I didn't say manage my team. I didn't say manage my customers. These are the four things that are going to grow my business. Okay. So when I'm focused on, when I'm in intentional time, I am not doing anything else but those four things. And you need to do the same because when the summer gets so busy, we get even more distracted. So it's important that we stay the course on what we want. You know, a mentor, uh, a very good friend and mentor of mine, she said this one day to me, right? And I, you all know who I am, right? And we were talking about goals and I was talking about this big vision of my life that I wanted. And she said, girl, your vision may be big, but your actions are shallow is that is that an intense statement well i told her you're going so huh? i told her you were gonna go you guys can mute yourselves um because i told her you were going to no i'm kidding <laughs> i don't know who's having that conversation um so so i mean think about those words right your vision may be big but your actions are shallow are you doing shallow actions every day because it's easy of course we are are you doing the hard stuff every single day? Of course we're not. So now it's time that we really get good at focusing on the most important things that are gonna grow our business only. So we've set goals, we've made that list. So now let's talk about the flexibility of our day. So if you work from home and you don't have a full-time job, I'm gonna use that as an example first. One of the things that happens in the summer that we get caught up and kind of wrapped around is trying to make this perfect schedule. Newsflash, it's not going to happen. It's literally not going to happen. So instead of trying to make this perfect plan, which is probably going to fail, <laughs> look at every day, day to day, right? And understand, okay, so today, for example, my kids are still in school, but if I'm using this as an example, okay, so I'm dropping this one off at camp at this time. I have from this time to this time to work, but I need to go to the food store. Every day is going to be different. You have to be, you have to take your day and make it flexible. Be flexible with each day. You can't lock into the schedule because the second you feel like you're off schedule, the rest of the day goes to waste. The second you feel like you're off schedule, you get in your head, it shuts you down. So then you don't ever pick back up. So look at each day separately, understanding what that day is going to bring and make your plan. We do this every Sunday. We were doing this every Sunday. Time block your time. And whatever you're doing in that time, it's not email, it's not Facebook, it's nothing else but productive 
focused, intentional work. Whatever is on that priority list, that's the stuff you're going to do in that time. Guys, the summer's a great time to build your business because you're around a lot of people, right? But I'm going to tell you this. You could be around a lot of people and still not have, and have conversations with them. You can be around a lot of people and still not put yourself out there. You could not be around a lot of people and you're still going through the same motions that you did last year and you're still not getting anywhere. Stop for a second. Something has to change if you want a change to happen in your business. So it's important that you look at your day and don't be on some rigid schedule. Your day might be as it comes and you're like, oh, okay, the kids are going to have a play date now for a couple of hours. Bam, I'm going to spend some time. Let me lock in. Let me get some work done. So you have, to, you, ha you have to definitely be flexible with your time in the summer and give yourself that grace, but you have to touch your business every day. Have to. And in that amount of time, let it be something that is going to be on that priority list only. So now when you're looking at the day, I will tell you one of the probably best things I could tell you to do in the summer. Get up before your kids wake up. You should do that all the time, by the way, but <laughs> that's my, that's my theory. But, um, if you, if your kids are home in the summer and they're not in camp and it's, it's a lot guys, I am encouraging you to get up before they wake up and that early morning time is going to set the stage for the rest of the day. If you can get up before they wake up, you will, and you feel organized right? And you've already got your day set up. You know who you're going to reach out. You've set your plan. Because like I said, the summer, that schedule has to be a flexible schedule because the day kind of comes and goes. But as you know, you have to be prepared for that day. If you're waking up when the kids wake up, that hustle and bustle guys is not going to work. So I recommend 90 minutes before the kids wake up is when you should wake up. And I say that because in that 90 minute time frame, you can take some time for reflection on the day before. You can take some time on, um, on doing some work on you and reading and kind of refilling your cup, setting your mind straight. You then can take some time to set and plan your day of who you're gonna call, who you're gonna reach out to, what your day is gonna look like. If you wanna have a successful summer, you have to do something different. And I recommend waking up at least 90 minutes before your kids wake up. Now, within that 90 minute time frame, because you're not calling people at maybe six o'clock in the morning. I mean, maybe you are, I mean, I do, but that's not normal. So one of the things that I recommend is within that 90 minute time frame is what I call batching. Have you heard of batching before? Batching is when you take that, those insignificant tasks that take a lot of time and do them together, right? So for example, that's when I will, because that's not busy, that's not my productive time, that's my set the stage time. That's the opportunity for me to kind of plan what's going to happen throughout the day. So batching is when I take my, uh, I take about 30 minutes and I go through email, I check Facebook notifications. I do not scroll. We are not scrollers. It's not part of our job description. It should not be part of our job description. But I will spend time doing email, uh, checking notifications on Facebook or, or, in, uh, or, or Instagram. I just check notifications. I don't scroll because then you'll get lost. You'll be gone for two hours. And I do some prospecting at that point right? That's part of batching. It's these insignificant little tasks that you know you want to get done that day but are not productive things that you're going to do in your intentional time. Because again, a lot of times we find ourselves doing the easy stuff during our intentional time. Batching is going to allow you to do the insignificant things all at once, all at once in a small amount of time. And then that's done. If you want to do more batching items at the end of, um, at the end of the night, go ahead. But batching is not things that you're doing in your intentional time. Those are those insignificant tasks, okay? Um, what I mean by prospecting when I, when I talk about that, it's like once I do the other things that I wanted to do, I will go to Instagram and I'll go to Facebook and I'm gonna look up people that I want to start to engage in and I will click them as see first on my newsfeed. 
and I will start to engage in some of their posts and I write down who they are on that day so that I don't forget that I'm trying to focus on them, right? So I do some of that during my morning time, during my morning focus time um, to kind of set the day because then that's op also opening up certain opportunities when I'm doing intentional work on new people that I'm prospecting. But you have to take the time to prospect. I wouldn't say that's your biggest money-making activity that you should be doing during the actual, your actual Juice Plus time, but it's an important thing, but it can be done in the morning when no one's awake or in the afternoon, I mean, or in the evening when people are starting to, to kind of calm down and, and go to sleep, right? So those are things that I recommend and that, fle that, that flexibility of schedule is crucial. Um, so when you're looking at your list and you're looking at all the things that you have to do in a day for your Juice Plus business, for your life, Delegate. I know that's hard for a lot of people because we have control issues. Okay. Not you specifically, but all of us, maybe. I mean, I do. But um, we, we, it's important that we delegate. If you really look at the list of things that you do every day for your Juice Plus business, those insignificant busy things that keep us doing busy things, but not keeping us productive, how many of those things are A, not significant, that you probably could get rid of altogether? And B, how many of those things could you delegate to somebody else? If you really want to spend time this summer focusing on your business, go do that HelloFresh or Fresh Direct or do something that's going to that's gonna give you time back because your time is valuable, right? Time is money. And if you value your time, then you're going to put as much time into what your goals are as, but that's as much as you value your time. So maybe you have, maybe you hire a babysitter if your kids are young and you're home, maybe you hire a babysitter for a couple hours, three days a week. Understand that during the summer, we're not saying to spend 26 hours out of 24 doing juice plus. We're just saying that the time that you're going to spend, make sure that it's focused and intentional. And if that means that you have someone help you do other things because you've got goals to reach, delegate. It's important that you release some of the stuff on those lists. I know that's hard, but it's crucial to grow. You know, like that list of things that you guys probably have, it's anchors. They're anchors. It's one anchor over a next and it holds you down. Get rid of some of them. Delegate them. Say no. Drop them completely. It's important that we kind of spread our wings and we push ourselves because if we don't, then we're going to be where we are in the same place two months from now. And that's not our goal. So now let's talk about activities that can happen in the summer. Like Elaine was saying earlier, it is so important that we enjoy our summer. And through that, where are you in the summer? You're out. You're at the beach, you're at a pool, you're at a barbecue, you're at an event, you're doing something where you're around people all the time. The question is, how committed are you to pushing yourself and having conversations with people that you're around? You can be around every single person in your life that you've ever wanted to talk to about Juice Plus because it's that kind of time and you might never bring it up. That is a choice that you're about to make. So what you're going to do when you're around those people, you're not going to be like, you know, head to toe and juice plus gear, handing out samples to everybody, but you're going to be engaged in conversation with them. And in the conversation, you're going to be watching their kid eat nothing, you know, a half a hot dog. You're going to, you're going to be engaged in why their kid is sick or what their kid does or doesn't eat when your kid is eating a plate of vegetables and fruit and this kid's eating, you know, bread, you know, like conversations really come up a lot more frequently than you think. If you are intentionally talking about things that can engage a, a, a startup conversation about what we do. So understand it's not about vomiting juice plus over on people. It's about having the courage to share what we share. Right? Kim McCall says that you are always one conversation away from changing someone's life forever with the power of our product. If you are busy over the summer and you're around a ton of people and you don't ever talk about it, shame on you, right? Because then, that, then you're being selfish. Then you're holding in 
a potential secret weapon that could change someone's health forever or the health of their family forever, and you don't share it, we have an opportunity, right? We have an opportunity to share something that's, that's magic. It's changed all of our health forever. That's why we're here. If the business has changed our lives forever, that's why we're here. So I encourage you when you're out and about to start conversations about what we're doing. When people say, what are you up to? Stand tall and tell them what we're up to. Well, I'm tra I've been traveling. I'm going to this awesome summit. I work with the Juice Plus company. And I'm really excited about it because in the last few months, I've impacted like 20 lives, just me alone. That's not including my incredible team. And it just makes me feel so proud to be a part of this incredible company. I just believe so much in what I do. What, what exactly do you do? I just had that happen at church the other day. So understand that we are around a lot of people during the summer and we have an opportunity, an obligation to share what we do and what we do as a business and what we do as a product. It's crucial that we push ourselves because at the end of the day, if we don't have conversations, that's on us. That's nothing that you can't, I can't teach you to go be brave, right? I can't teach you to go be bold. You're going to have to do that on your own, but I believe you can do it. I believe you have the courage to go out and do it. I believe that you're ready to take that step. And like Darren Hardy says, it's that it's, it's the before it's what you're telling yourself. It's that fear of, oh my gosh, what's going to happen next that shuts you down before you ever jump, jump right? It's the conversation you tell yourself before you're jumping out of a plane. You're so scared. Your heart's pounding. It's the adrenaline. You, you tell yourself all these crazy things, but when you actually start that conversation, you're okay. It's going to be okay. Because what if somebody says yes? Could change your life forever too, guys. What if somebody was like, you know what? I need this. And I'm so glad that we're talking about it. It could change everybody's life but you have to have the conversation. You have to be brave enough to do it. All the people in the world could be around you, but if you're not brave enough to open up, nothing's gonna change. So commit to that. That should be some of your goals too. That should be part of your weekly goals, right? So the last piece of this, of making sure that you're productive in the summer is accountability. So I would recommend that every single person uh, on the call or on, you know, on the team in general have an accountability partner this summer. It's so important that you have someone to check into. What we know is we don't have to, we don't have to report to anybody, which is a big blessing. But it's also not a huge blessing because we don't have to report to anybody. So we don't have to commit to anything. We don't like, I can write something down and never actually do it, but you don't know that right? Find somebody this summer that you are going to work together and you're going to push each other. And you're going to say, Hey, today, this is my goal. Today. I want to have this many conversations this week. I want to do this. You lock arms with somebody that has your focus, that has your drive. Because the thing is, if your intentions is here and your focus and you're, you're going at full speed and they're not, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Right? Find someone that matches what you want, that matches your intensity and your focus and your drive and say, hey girl, like, let's do this together. I am excited about this summer. I'm excited to push myself. This is what pushing myself looks like for me. What does it look like for you? And together lock arms and do it. Because when you are accountable to somebody or someone, you are more likely to achieve what you set out to do because it's giving you the option. It gives you the opportunity to stick to it because the stick to it part is the hard part. Anyone can do anything right away, right? When you first start this business, you're like this, you're like a, like a gazelle, right? You are so focused. Nobody can stop you. And then when it's not as new anymore, when things like, when maybe it gets a little hard and things change and then you're like, well, I've been doing this for a while. Maybe your motivation changes. And then all of a sudden you feel like, well, what I'm doing isn't working. Well, when you first started and you had that blank slate and you were locked into what you needed to do, nothing was going to get in your way. 
nothing was going to get in your way. So I think this summer should be a clean slate for all of us. Rejuvenate yourself. Put that new mindset into your head and lock into what you want and put your blinders on. Get that gazelle intensity focus on those goals. Set your priorities now. Set your priorities now. Have the courage to say no to things and to push things aside to get where you want to go. Stop being busy. It's time to be productive and intentional. We all can do it. We just have to push ourselves. I'm done. <laughs> Does anybody want to share any tips that they've kind of discovered um, for this summer that's helping them stay focused, productive? 